Welcome to the 2024 Quarter One Expression Engine review. My name is Tom Jager. I am the CEO of Expression Engine, and I'm happy to share a few minutes with you today. In this video, we're going to cover some of the highlights for Expression Engine in the first quarter of 2024. We're going to also cover a quick update on EE Harbor, uh, the overall add on marketplace, and we're going to take a peek at what we've been up to in the second quarter. Expression Engine continues to be a flexible and reliable content management system. In this quarter, we shipped eight new releases. These releases expand on the capabilities and address feedback requests and issues reported to us by the community. One release that I want to highlight specifically from this quarter is version 7.4. Several of the enhancements in this release further embrace the powerful members functionality in Expression Engine by adding more custom field types and improving the control panel experience for managing members. This release also brought a big upgrade to content editors and content admins with the ability to use Redactor X. We created a beautiful field type focused on modern simplicity. I'd recommend you check it out. And finally, the command line interface saw many additions that open up new possibilities, specifically in automating deployments and making routine maintenance even easier. There are many more additions that we can't cover here in this video. I'll put a link to them in the description for this video. We successfully resolved, closed, and released solutions to over 80 issues and made close to that many minor additions and enhancements as well in the first quarter. In addition to this, we're working through a large number of additional issues and enhancements that have PRs or pull requests open currently. For those who aren't aware, a pull request is what initiates the process of reviewing and testing code as it gets added to the Expression Engine core. So this is basically code that has been written but hasn't been run through our testing process yet. Sites running Expression Engine 6 and 7, quarter over quarter, we, saw, we found that there's a 6% growth in the total number of sites running version 6 and 7. If we compare quarter 1 of 2023 with quarter 1 of 2024, we found that there was a 7.5%, just north of that really, uh, growth rate in the number of sites running Expression Engine 6 and 7. Uh, if we took that and we extracted that out to the whole year, we would be on track for just north of a 30% growth rate on the Expression Engine 6 and 7 overall. Uh, install base. We do continue to see a higher adoption of version 7 over version 6. We believe this will continue to be the case uh, throughout the year and going forward as version 7 is going to have several leaps forward in the current year as well. We also left the first quarter of 2024 with Expression Engine 7.5 being code complete. Please note, code complete is very different from being ready to release. We still have to go through our testing process and manual review of the code. One-click updates in the first quarter were up just shy of 80% quarter over quarter. It's worth mentioning this is a fairly skewed number, as in quarter 4 of 2023, we didn't ship as many patch releases since we were working to finalize the 7.4 release. However, we do continue to see a larger and larger shift towards Expression Engine version 7 over 6 as it's moving further and further ahead. Coilpack is a product we launched just over a year ago to expand the capabilities of Expression Engine and integrate with the Laravel framework. In addition to this, Coilpack also provides Twig, Blade, and GraphQL support for Expression Engine. This quarter, we saw several maintenance releases, and most recently, version 1.3 brought additional support for the new items released in Expression Engine 7.4. Add-ons. You know, we want to make a quick note about add-ons here. Many people realize that we got our start in add-ons through EE Harbor, and over the years, we've acquired a bunch of different add-ons. And a lot of those we ultimately did roll into the Expression Engine core. Uh, however, in the process of doing this, we've realized that there's a lot of add-ons that simply don't belong in the core. And even though they don't belong in the core, they're still vitally important to the overall Expression Engine ecosystem. So this is why add-on developers are of utmost importance to the platform. And we're extremely thankful and just want to take a minute to say thank you to all of the add-on developers who invest their time and their talents into the Expression Engine ecosystem. Because without you, Expression Engine wouldn't be what it is. This is also why in the first quarter of 2024, on EE Harbor, we had 24 releases. This is about the same number of releases when compared to quarter four of 2023. In addition to this, there were 66 add-on releases in the first quarter for add-ons offered in the Expression Engine store. Beyond this, on the EE Harbor side, we spent a good bit of the quarter working on our assets conversion to the native file manager. So for those who don't know, assets is a file manager, it allows you to manage images and assets in your Expression Engine install and how they're used. Version seven, however, shipped with a brand new modern, uh, much 
further advanced, if you will, asset management system. And we spent a good bit of time working on the conversion from assets to native in the first quarter. There is one large functionality discrepancy between the native file manager and assets. So we will release this conversion before the native file manager has the uh, missing functionality from assets, if you will. So we would recommend running it whenever possible, uh, since beyond this one area, the native file manager is significantly further ahead. From here, we're just gonna jump into some reflections with Brian. Hey, Brian, thanks for jumping in, uh, sharing some reflections on the quarter with me. Uh, for those who don't know, Brian is part of our Expression Engine core development team. Uh, prior to us uh, acquiring Expression Engine, Brian was the head of all of our Laravel development. So thanks for jumping on, Brian. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks for having me, Tom. Do you have any thoughts on this past quarter, how that how things went as a whole? Yeah, you know, I think quarter one uh, of 2024 was a really good quarter for Expression Engine. Um, you know, the 7.4 release was a very large release. And in addition to it being a really large release, we got some really good feedback on it. Um, you know, both from agencies and site builders, but uh, from content admins, you know, in the site every day. Um, you know, I think if I couple that with 7.5 being, you know, code complete, I, I feel like quarter one was a really good quarter for us. What, what were your thoughts on quarter one, Brian? Yeah, it, it certainly seemed like we got a lot going on and a lot of uh, community engagement and features shipping out. It's, it's fun to see. Awesome. All right, Tom, so can you tell us what's going to be next up for EE Harbor in quarter two? Yeah, great question. Um, as I mentioned, we're already working on the assets conversion to the native file manager. Uh, we're hoping to have that wrapped up you know, just as far as we possibly can and ideally to a spot where it's almost ready to release or, or is released. Uh, in addition to that, we're working on a new version of Transcribe. Uh, that'll be specifically Expression Engine 7 plus only. Nice. And for people who don't know, what is Transcribe? Good, good question. Um, so Transcribe is a multilingual add-on that allows you to manage um, content of multiple languages inside the Expression Engine Control Panel, and it facilitates making it much easier to display it on your site as well. Yeah. Are there any uh, high-level features you can tell us about that are going to be in that new version? Yep, absolutely. Um, you know, for starters, we are converting it to the new add-on paradigm. I mentioned that. In addition to that, uh, while the last version was a major step forward in performance, um, this version we believe we can bring really close to bare metal uh, expression engine performance. So, uh, you know, specifically on the display side, so when people run to your site, it should be just as fast as expression engine would be if it wasn't running transcribed. So we're pretty excited for that. Very cool. So similarly, looking forward to quarter two, what's on the dock for Expression Engine? Yeah, I think quarter two is going to be an exciting quarter, just like Q1 was here. Um, we got a lot of stuff lined up, things that we've started, you know, a good while back, ideas that are just coming to fruition. Um, and, you know, 7.5, I think, is going to be our, our, big, uh, our big push this quarter. Um, we've, like you said, we've had... Uh, a code complete status for a bit here. We're kind of refining and, um, you know, reviewing all of that code, seeing exactly what we're going to release as part of 7.5. So do you think that'll be in quarter two? I think there's, there's a chance, but I think that we're also not going to commit to that because, um, you know, things come up in the community, people need help and, uh, you know, it doesn't always make sense to just keep plugging away on, on new features when somebody needs help with a bug they've hit or there's some minor improvement that we could add that would make a major difference in someone's life. And we're not just going to sit here and work on, you know, this set of features that we're really excited about, but someone else is struggling on, you know, a template tag that they need help with. And uh, so that's been our approach for this past quarter. And I, I think we're going to continue that for a while here. Yeah, absolutely. It's it's funny because our conversations about 7.5 internally um, also kind of bring up the point that most of the minor releases, if you will, 7.2, 7.3, 7.4, things like that, uh, have been more in line with what platforms would call a major release. Uh, they've been to that type of magnitude, if you will. 
And I know one of the conversations that we're having is shifting that uh, pretty dramatically, either at 7.5 or at 7.6. And we're working to include that currently. Um, the shift would really be that, hey, we're going to dial them back and say, hey, here is, you know, the feature for 7.5. Here is the feature for 7.6. Do you think if we shift approaches during the second quarter um, to that much more frequent release approach, do you think 7.5 would go out or do you think it's still borderline? Yeah, I I think it's an approach that is appealing for us just because we like to get things out into people's hands and not be sitting on them. Um, I mean, truth be told, some of our past releases we've had in the works for a good bit of time, and it would would have been nice to kind of pair them back and get them out sooner um, because we realize there's opportunity, there's possibility there for our users to, to get in there and, and benefit from it sooner, the faster we can release. So. Absolutely, I think that's on the table to uh, to pair it back and try to get it out sooner. But at the same time, you know, we, we have kind of a theme with some of these features uh, where they all kind of go together and serve a similar purpose. And it's it's nice to keep that together as well. So we're kind of weighing all of that together, I guess. So what's coming in 7.5? Yeah, I think we've got some possibilities where we still haven't decided the exact slate of features that's going to go out there. Um, A lot of it depends, honestly, on on how our testing and review goes. Um, You know, we certainly don't want to ship something that's not ready to be out there. So we have all this code uh, that's written and has been through some stages of review. But as we get closer to a, a release, we like to vet it a little bit more and um, you know we don't really like to lock it in and say this has to go out as part of 7.5 uh, because if something's not ready you know it, it's not going to go out and you'll likely see it in 7.6 or 7.7 we'll see absolutely on behalf of the entire Express Engine team thank you for joining us for this quarterly recap in the description of this video you will find a link to a form that you can fill out And we encourage you to ask any questions, share any comments, uh, anything like that that you have that you'd like to hear us address in the next quarterly update. Or similarly, if there's something you'd like to see in a future version of Expression Engine, we'd love to hear it. Take care.